Hello, Twitch. We are back with more Pokemon Rejuvenation. I just found out after asking the community that I could leave the mansion after I dropped Melia. I'm not Melia. Oh. Marionette off. So, I left, did some training. Now I have almost 30 level 30s. Well, almost 31 of them, since I did catch one at 36. But, yay! I did so because I was training with the Blessed Field in the library. Great way to test your moves if you need to test for this gym battle type thing. <sighs> but I did get a few shinies while there. And I will show you once we get back to the mansion. But, on top of those... I did beat... Oh, wait. I need this. Your last prophecy of light. Not that it matters. Simpletons like yourself could not understand such language. Oh. Who? You can get a special Pokemon from her. If you keep the book. That you had the option to keep or get rid of. Yeah. Let's see. Bedroom is where I need to go. Just at the heel point. Now, our Pokemon that are all set up. We got a Sylveon from beating that Battle Me Again quest. It was an Eevee, and it evolved into Sylveon. Quite happy for this gym battle. We are going to take Soul Block and Lunatone, our Moonstone and Sunstone. This gives us plenty of options for Psychic and Fairy types. But, we also have all of these. Unknown. You can catch at level 36 in the library. It's just really hard to find them. And they have the potential to kick your butt. I got Doubly and Fate, the 29, but everything else in the box is level 30 or higher. And I did get an LGM off screen. Because we needed it. Let's see. <clears throat> and I was in the library anyway, so two birds with one stone. You get it at level one, though. 
you can keep running from it to reset it. And that is what I did. Here we go. This is like our 10th try or more against this gym leader. Let's see if we can beat them. I say gym leader because I'm not sure if we get a badge or not. Since she specializes in normal types. But now that we have our level uh, 30s, we should be able to take her down. Defense and special defense. Let's go, Munch Game. Let's go, Munch Game. And this is all on normal mode. We are playing normal. If the battle becomes too difficult, I may bump it down to easy. But I've been playing so far on normal. Here we go! I was informed that psychic types are pretty good here. So if you have psychic types and you are stuck, I do suggest training them. But I did understand that fairy type is also pretty good here. <sighs> so, we are going to take her down one way or another. It's hot out. Wait. You have soundproof. Nope, we're sticking in. We're sticking in with Munchkin. If Munchkin goes down, we do have those Lunatone and Soul Rock for this. That bird is seriously strong. I don't know if it's strong enough. Munchkin has gone down. Let's see. Which of these, Lunatone or Soul Rock, has the better? I think we will go with Moonstone here. And we got Stealth Rock! <laughs> Kinda glad I went with the Special Defense instead of the Physical. Psychic. Take it down. Red the bird. Legendary energy. Stentler. Why, well, thank you for walking into my stealth rocks. Not that we're going to be using regular attacks, but. Okay. I 
I put the Lunatone and the Soul Rock on the squad because they learned Psychic at level 29. And we have Sylveon to face the Drompa. Drapper rig. Bug and rug, go! This is why we kept Bug and a rug on the squad. But so far, so good. I am actually far more impressed at how well this gym battle is going with us having Lunatone and Soul Rock. I was told to get an Espeon, because Espeon's so good. I was trying until I realized wait, Sylveon could be just as good. So, Foxfire. Training kiss! Ooh, I love that. Now we are stuck on her beware. Everything is counting on this final stretch. Even if you win, he'll never let you go. Draining kiss. I hope I do. And oh my god. Her viewer is named Mr. Snuggle is Snuggles. Oh god. I just realized it was nicknamed. So Foxfire versus Snuggles. I know, don't hug the snuggles. If I'm right, she's gonna go for a hyper potion here. She has not done that uh, yet. So, Foxfire is getting. Oh god. Oh my god! Foxfire for the win! All on normal mode. I guess I wound up lucky that Foxfire was a boy. Through the light of your Pokemon. Through the light of your Pokemon, you have transcended the evil that lies within the dark. <laughs> I'm happy. You fought with such strength such confidence. You deserve this, Melody. Got the normality badge! This is a symbol of not only my defeat, but my gratitude. Wait, was that a badge? Your... Well, that certainly was a battle to end all, for sure. You have successfully completed my trial. And such, I will allow all four of you to leave. What's going on? What happened to the lights? I don't... I don't know. What are we doing on the battlefield? Father, what is the meaning of this? What? I'm doing what I said I would. I would allow all four of you to leave if you were to successfully complete my trial. 
I did not state how exactly you four were going to leave, though. Whether it be to leave this mansion alive, or leave this realm entirely, it's one and the same to me. You're going to sacrifice us? Sacrifice? What do you mean? This battlefield is just one giant altar. Oh, so you just noticed. Well, I shouldn't be surprised. You weren't one to notice such obvious things anyway. Not that it will matter anyway. You always do this to me. No matter what I do, it always ends up like this, in one way or another. No matter what happens, don't lose hope. Don't lose who you are, and don't you dare forget what's about to happen. Understand? Don't lose hope. Maria! What did I just remember? Well, you've all suffered enough. Let's get on with this, shall we? Maria. I remember. Marionette, what are you going on about? Even in your final moments, you continue to annoy me. Shut your mouth and die with dignity. You shut your mouth. You, you terrible child. Is that how you speak to your superiors? It's all clear to me now. I remember who I was. Who I am. You remember? Impossible. I'm sorry, Melody, but I'm going to have to go back on my deal. I won't be going with you four. I still have many things I have to do here. But if you don't come with us, you'll be trapped here with this horrible man. I know, but it's something I have to do. I wouldn't worry about him anymore. Plus, I feel better knowing that you all are free. Okay, sorry about that. As I feel better knowing that you all are free. I know this is all very sudden, but... Melody, as cruel as the context was, I really enjoyed our time together. We've been through a lot, and even though it wasn't for a long period of time, it feels like we've been friends for an eternity. And who knows, 
Perhaps that was the case. I won't forget you. Not again. Not again? <laughs> but for now, I must set you all free. Marionette, go. Marionette, how dare you? It looks like there's only one to deal with now, Father. How long has it been since that day? Hmm, suddenly lost for words, are we? Well, that better change soon. Because we have a lot to talk about. After all, there's a lot of catching up to do. Ooh. So, we got our TM for beating up the gym leader. And now our Pokemon can gain levels. We can gain levels. Finally. The normality badge. We can get up to 35. Meaning, we can evolve Dr. Hoots and David. I told you it was a bad idea. But you two still didn't listen to me. If you did, none of this would have happened in the first place. I'm sorry, Venom, but I think it's time we take a break from each other. Oh, so what? You're just going to walk away after all that? What happened in there was just so not cool. In fact, I think I might actually be scarred for life. You put us in a real bad spot there, Venom. Are you seriously talking right now, Luca? You're just as guilty as I am. Don't you try to put the blame on me, Venom. It was your idea in the first place. Maybe if you learned to think about your friends rather than yourself, you'd be a better person. Lenny and I are out. God damn it. Don't just leave me like that. Melody, you're awake. Did you see all that? They're just so dumb, Luca and Lenny. Just left me after all we've been through. I thought they were supposed to be my friends, but they left the moment things got rough. Anyway, I wanted to thank you for saving us back there, Melody. I don't know where I would be without you and Marionette. Speaking of... Where was that place anyway? All four of us were unconscious in the back room. That mansion is nowhere to be found. Whatever that place was. It's gone now. So, you never told me what brought you to the sewers again. Is it really because of the rumors about the new area? So, let's get this straight. Friends being a piece of work, and you need my help. After what you did for me back there? Sure thing. We're friends for life. You said this was Route 3, right? I'm going to head there now. Do you need a lift? I'm going to say no, because I'll take a run through. Because I don't even know where we are right now. Chapter 4. Isolation. Well, save. That would have been helpful. But, of course, 
we just need to make quick work of the sewers here. Oh god, there's my Dianas. I'm just gonna do a stacking shot on it. If we're gonna be training anyway, might as well get some levels on our fairy types. Speaking of, I realized I had a couple other fairy types besides Mr. Mom. But not one of the fairy types I had before Sylveon had any inclination of learning any fairy type moves before level 30. Or at 30, even. Other than Chun. So, whoop -de -doo. So, we are going to switch up our team quick. And the closest spot for that is the gym. the transport. I'm glad the gym was easy enough this time. Move Pokemon. Let's see, I want the Grimer. I want David. He evolves yet, so I'm not taking Kyrio. I want Hello. A moment. Okay, sorry about that. So what do we have? Oops, right? I think we're good there. So only Pokemon that is gonna need to be replaced is Munchkin when we get to the next town. To Sheridan Village. Oh. Uh. No, wait, don't tell me that those are the Saki and Throgo. Oh, oh. From the show Pummel Bros. Yes, these two would just happen to be the very same sock and throw. Socky and Throgo aren't interested in being superstars at Pokio Studios any Pokestar Studios anymore. So I've been directed to bring them to Sheraton Village in search of suitable trainers for both of them. Wait. If you're giving them away, then does that mean the show's cancelled? Of course not. We've already found suitable replacements. Those two don't look any different than any other sock and throw, so it's no big deal. Can I have them? I mean, to train? 
I'm sure, at least that's what I'd like to say, but it looks like you have some competition. Competition who? Surely you can't mean this person, really. I'm sorry, but you're going to have to find better times to show up. I got here first. If you don't want to leave, then I guess we'll battle for it. Here I go. Which should we take? Soccer throw. I'm up in the air about it. Let's see what we can get done, shall we? And we get another earthquake to the face. David. Just gotta use David. And if we do not get to the next gym later this episode, then I plan on training up both David and Dr. Hoots to evolution so that we can go in with an overgrow and a long reach. A Rampardos. Well, that just happened. Let's go with Smella. I had to come up with some names for some shadow Pokemon on the fly. If anyone has any input on that, I am glad to take suggestions. Because I had no better name for an Alolan Grimer than Smella. You know? Let's go, go, go! Spark. Wow. Okay. Apparently I had a bad team for this. But I plan on keeping Trump Card on Foxfire. Till I can breed him. Foxfire is going to be breeding us a shiny Eevee. And based on gender, I will let you guys pick a name. All in the Discord, though. Sand Slash. Fairy Wind. Wow. Okay. Ella, let's hope you can take him down. It's 
no. Oh no. Capella don't live. That's the first time since the gym leader that we've lost. Okay, let's switch up a little bit then. You. Since Munchkin's not doing their thing, box them up for now. So we got unknown X and unknown K. But if Neon was up to a decent level, I probably would have put Neon on the squad instead. Let's give this another go, shall we? Just because I know that if we fail, we go back to these recovery machines. Soccer throw! We have three viewers, as far as I can tell. Feel free to type out which in the comments and at this point it's majority the majority rules But link to my Discord is on the Twitch. So feel free to join. We are gonna take down a sand slash. Together with our Pokemon. Gonna take up the sand slash. Here we go. Okay, yeah. Onion Dusk. First we'll switch. Let's send out Hella for that. If she is set to be a level um, 32 NPC, it's a little tougher than we were expecting, but it can be fun to get some experience before we head there. And lots of Pokemon are gaining levels. Let's, let's use David here. We have only seen three of her Pokemon.
I cannot wait to get Spirit Shackle. Oh dear. Mm. Mella. Isn't thing. Of course, I should have expected that. Spinel. Stuck. It is too fast. Best for us. Here we go. Zen headbutt, but it missed. Oh. So Spittle survived this Rampardos. Herbert grew to level 31. Hey, Zangoose. Let's stick here. If we don't win this time, we'll just come back and do it another time. Hello. Bang. Let's hope we burn it. But we are going to be getting a sock or a throw. Basically red or blue. That's the way we go. But we are almost through this battle. It was good luck to have ourselves Sherbert. But... We have to go through as much as we can here. To get us to the next town. And heal back up. Will the burn kill it? It does not. Foxfire's 32. Sneasel. Sure, why not? This is great for Foxfire. If Foxfire lives. Foxfire was definitely not fast enough. Well, we know all our Pokemon. Just, we weren't strong enough. We can beat her at some later point. But, for now... Let's go check out the city. Here you are, Venom. 
Okay, let's see what the heck we can do with this gate. Gamer, pick her up and give this gate a sweet old Venom's kiss. Heh, <laughs> easy. What was the point of blocking off this way anyway? Well, I guess I can't complain too much. If you hadn't come looking for me, I don't know where I'd be right now. Everything happens for a reason, I guess. Anyway, I'm off. Don't know what your plan is, but you sure seem set on it. I see, so you're looking for someone to fix the snake machine of yours. And that person you're looking for is a girl named... Saki Blackberry? Huh. Just hearing the name makes me want to barf. Don't mind me. Just being annoying. See you around, Melody. And there we go. Isolation. Of course, let's save it here again. Don't even treat people for help or with any respect. And all they want to do is make everyone's life a better one. No! You got a lot of nerve showing up here again. We told you what would happen if we saw you waddling around these parts again, didn't we? Or did... Did we? Or didn't we? Dude, can you ask me later? Your breath really reeks. It smells like a toilet. Uh, you asked for it this time, mostly. Get her! No! I'm sorry, I have to do the little kid voice with her. It's just too perfect. Checking for any lost Pokemon. Let's see. The jail. Not sure why they got a jail. Oh no! I cannot believe. Let's see how bad she hurt some of my Pokemon. That's not terrible. Oh, this can't be real. There's a walking trash can in my house. Oh wait, it's just you. Okay, that's actually a sick burn. I'm. I don't even care. It was funny. And Reyna! Oh, no, you're not either of them. Sigh. I guess this day was coming. I did. But I didn't think it would happen like this. I, I'm sorry. I'm sure you have no idea what I'm talking about. My son ran ran away. From home a year ago, and a few weeks ago, his sister Reyna ran right behind him. Ren never liked how people from Golden Leaf treated outsiders, so he just got up and left. I have no idea why my daughter Reyna left, though. I am such a bad mother. I think if I raised them better, they wouldn't be this way. Oh, 
But this wouldn't matter much to you, would it? This town is very dangerous. If you'd like a place to stay, I'd be glad to let you rest here. It'd be great to have some company. Ooh. Doors. I was hoping to sneak a peek at a diary. Oh! They are starkly different rooms. I like that. Come at me. Sherbert. Here we go. That. Well, if snow is going to be any good, we need to properly train her. But I can always go to a name raider and get her renamed. And it's right in the first town. So. Yeah. El hombre? Let's go with David. We might have David evolved by the time we get to the gym. Let's pluck. And down it goes. Smell is 31. Spinel is 32. This one blue. Of course I know who's best to send. Send out Spinel. Spinel can handle dragons. Okay, so we are going to go up here and go to the Pokemon Center before we get too close to that section. And let's see what we can do. Oh god, they're gonna take things to the extreme! But I do like this Pokemon Center. Let's see. For a time, there was a ghost Pokemon found here. But I think they moved it. But yes, we are doing what we can for exploring. Also, oh, yep, that's another route.
Actually, let's do Spinel up front. Backspire on the side. And those that have actually played the beginning of Pokemon Rejuvenation, you would know that your mother has a Sylveon. And I basically just followed in her footsteps and got a Sylveon. Bam. Spinel takes down the Trevenant. Well, so far so good. And fight. Let's fire. Doesn't need light screen. Are you even getting involved, you annoying little pop? Owie! Bro, thanks for saving me, but I gotta bounce. I'm sick of you outsiders thinking you can do whatever you want in this town. This isn't over. We'll be back. Um. Guys? That's a noobs. I didn't put it there. A spear. Uh, so. Now that we have beaten that, yeah, this is the place where I'm sure Myth would have loved to be here to see. Let me guess, you want access to Route 4? There was a girl earlier. Asking around. Just moments ago, was she your comrade? It doesn't matter. In the end, I cannot allow you such passage. Do you want to know why? It is because you are an outsider. I don't know if you're familiar with our ideals, but only official members of this village gain privileges. And you are obviously not one. of Golden Lily is to be born into it, or by beating me in an official gym battle and gaining the badge I possess. I am sure by hearing that piece of info, you're eager to battle. Tell you what, there are outsiders located inside the Pokemon Center of this town. They've been causing such a ruckus because of the way they are being treated. If you are able to subdue them, I'll accept your challenge. For now, I'll be heading over to Wispy Tower. Unfortunately... I am the only one in this town that actively tries to remember the dead. Yeah, yes you did. This town 
not friendly to outsiders. There you are, Melody. I was looking for you everywhere. I know this is sudden, but I've been training a bit, and I think I've gotten a lot better. Let's have a battle. I know it'll be fun. Oh, wait. Let me heal you up before we do. It's not fair to fight a weakened opponent. Elida healed your party. Okay, here we go. He says it's not fair to fight a weakened opponent. We have no face! <laughs> we have a nose and a mouth. That's it. I still want to know how we get around this region without bumping into so much stuff. Oh god, our Pokemon is basically a seeing eye dog. It's Fang. Oh, it's up to 32. Main foo. Actually, let's use Foxfire for this. Because who needs David at the moment when you got a Sylveon? But hey, Munchkin. This is our Foxfire that I told you about earlier. Arabia, let's see. If we can have speed, we kick its butt with a weakened spinel. <laughs> if it takes us out with that. Yeah, I was kind of expecting that. I gotta love this music. Let's see. Clarifying. And hope it doesn't have guts. Ella, the hellhound. Oh, Lucha! Go Foxfire! Here we go! Raining Kiss. Fairy wind. Smell is trying to learn crunch. Yeah, better than knockoff. Let's go for it. Muskin. We'll stay out. Go. Fairy wind. Draining kiss. Oh. Knew she was going to do that. Oh, 
one more time. Oh God, I cannot believe she did that a second time. But we are fully healed. Go, go, go! So glad this person isn't a gym leader. Because you fight them all the time. Swift. David! If it doesn't need no fury attack. Well, I did a lot better than I thought I would. So, I'm happy. Anyway, I've been trying to find a way to route 4, but it's been a little rough. These people jumped me while I was looking around. It's okay, though. I was able to fend them off. We should talk more inside. I don't think it's too safe to stand around outside. Your Pokemon are all healed and ready to go. Please be careful. Thank you! Now, about this town. I may have gotten a little ahead of myself. And I was... All I was doing was exploring with some path. And these creeps decided to try and bully me. But they were kind of weak, so I was able to hold them off. When they lost, this girl got really mad and said she'd be back. Weak or not, threats like that shouldn't be taken lightly. This is was that. Eh, that was why I was on my way to this Pokemon Center. I heard there was a group of trainers who were ready to fight back. Oh, so you met Narcissa. And she said she'd grant you access to Route 4 if you calm down the trainers here. <laughs> I guess I should dead fuel to the flame by joining them then. Okay then, so here's what we're... Alright, we've had enough with all you outsiders. That voice, don't tell me. You heard me, all of you. I want all of you out of this town now. You're not going to have... You're just going to have to get over yourselves. This Pokemon Center isn't a private place. It's open for anyone who needs it. The people here... ...need to be kicked... If anyone here needs to be kicked out, it should be you all. Who do you think you are, outsider? Why can't you all just leave us alone? We're better without you. Ever since Narcissus Theater was converted into a gym, people have been waltzing in on in here like they own us. And what's more? What more do we have to do to get rid of you all? Well, you better start sketching out some ideas because we aren't leaving anytime soon. Fine, if that's how it's going to be, then we'll make you leave. Actually, your story is not the nicest person here. Ren's mom is. You can't make us go anywhere. Melody, you go for the one on the left. I'll deal with this one. You can't win. I won't let you. Chomp, chomp, chomp. There was a reason we decided to choose Spinel to go up front. Spinel 
is basically a tank from having for so long all the EVs. Sneak. Let's see. Hello? Snarl. The Hellhound is here to take these ghosts down. Eat up. Bye bye. Sherbert's level thirty three. Oh, I failed you, Golden Lee. You all think you're so important. We may have lost this time, but we're not going to give up. We'll raid each and every one of you. One day. Retreat! To think they would stoop so low. This is unacceptable. I know she asked you to calm the trainers down, but that won't be possible with, the, with her citizens act. Attacking us every few minutes. Melody, you should go confront her again. I'll stay here and keep guard over the Pokemon Center. I heard Narcissa was on her way to Whiskey Tower. You will find her there. Good luck, and don't take no for an answer. Well, this is the route that connected to Route 1. You think you guys are tough? You guys were in a group. We've had enough of you people coming into our town uninvited. Looks like you'll be our next victim. Well, Besh, you still bad the hospital won't be able to save you. Oh dear. Ghost girl Narcissa. This is why I healed. But, on the bright side, only one level till David evolves. Hunter? Yep, we'll switch. Go, oh, Hella! Eat up! Fox Fires, level 35. Do Blade. Eat up! Let's go! Six times. You tried that. Hello. 
my hellhound. Thank you for doing your job. My Ghostbuster, my hellhound. David, 34! Woo! On screen evolution! Now that is one lovely decision. Lovely decidui. This is why we have David. Spirit Shackle? Don't mind if I do. Done. Time for round two. Oh, God. Jesus Christ! No, have mercy! I... I'm sorry. Hang. Hang. Hmm. Yeah. That was still impressive. What a pain, girl. That is amazing. Hmm. This is pretty neat. I have not seen this place in forever. Lost castle, keep out, keep out. Oh my god, there's an item up there. I want it! Let's see. Which of my lovelies can learn cut? Not gonna happen! I knew we could get a Lola and Meowth elsewhere, so I wasn't praying for a Lola and Meowth back at the castle area. But, it's nice to know that we can get some cool items. Let's go back there, since I didn't know about it. Let's see, does Parasect have cut? No. Okay. One of my Pokemon has cut. Of course, it's Looney. Now, since I don't predict us doing a fight, we'll come back and switch it out. After this. Rock Tomb. Well, so far so good. But when we get Surf, definitely coming back here. Lightning! But I am 
glad that with all the Pokemon that we have trained, we don't have to worry too terribly much. We should have enough stuff to do type coverage. You loony? Your technician? Oh god, it's a technician and it knows cut. It cuts the power cables. Very cool. Ooh. Spark. It's gonna have limber. I just know it. Sableye? This is why we got Foxfire! For just the situation in case of Spiritomb or Sableye. <laughs> the only thing that is super effective against them is Foxfire. It was going to be Psychic. Which is why I gave it the name Foxfire. But, oh well. Works just as well for a fairy. Nope. Sticky Eat up. Let's see. Let's see. Bone edge. Of course we'll stick out. Stick out like a sore thumb. We're sending all these ghosts to the afterlife. Snarl. All these hellish powers. It's a hellhound. Okay. There is this park here. Where you can potentially get this Esper. But I think you need to get it to love you before any of that happens. You have an X you? Okay, so she wants to X you. So we can I don't mean him, but I'm not sure I can look after it forever. If a trainer came around that I could trust, I think I would be fine with giving it away. Mm. 
It's a loon! I'm actually gonna switch here. Let's see what's all around. Nothing different down there. What are we going to do in regards to our problem? We can't have Golden Leaf Forest in this condition any longer. The wild Pokemon have started to flee the area at an extremely rapid pace. Something must be done about that orb of energy. Don't worry, we'll find another alternative. I won't allow this to go on for any- hmm? Who's that behind you? I excuse me? This is a private meeting. Yeah, all of this is confidential, so just forget what you heard here. Hey, idiot. I thought you said you barricaded the entrance. That may have slipped my mind. Relax, perhaps this person can help us. How can they help us? If you can't do it, then who can? It's neither here nor there. They heard our conversation, therefore they're involved now. Whether they like it or not. Codename C. I am part of the International Police. Specifically, the Avian Department. What's your name? See, so your name is Melody. Listen, Melody, Goldenwood Forest is in danger. There's an unidentified threat currently residing in the lake area. How do you know the name of this being? Is it possible that you've come into contact with these before? If so, then we have no choice but to recruit you. You see, I am blind. But with the power of my Pokemon, I can see the same way you can. Um. He's blind. Technically, my character is blind. Well. <laughs> As you could imagine, seeing through a bug's eye can be quite unreliable. I cannot locate the dimensional rift myself, but if you can successfully locate and defeat this rift, then peace will be restored. Unfortunately, we need your help, and I cannot take no for an answer. I can, however, test your battling capabilities to make sure you're up to this task. Before we do, I'd like to heal your Pokemon first. Shall we begin? He basically just stated he was a bug type trainer. I cannot fight that one. I cannot fight that one. Not with Ella. David's first battle after evolution. This is beautiful. And David is no longer a flying type. David has officially turned to the ghost side. Yeah, I don't need fan attack. The Lissapod. Oh, yeah. Bloody water bugs. Why do you have to do this to me? Get outie.
Well, David got to max level, so that's good. So, our starter has officially hit final. Fire Fang! Here we go! We'll not be able to take down a Hella like that. Unless Hella doesn't attack this turn! You. And Spinel is learning Thunder Fang. Perfect. So now we have Ice Fang and Thunder Fang. Go Lissapod. Go Sherbert. It's slow enough for Sherbert to take down. Astonishing. You may be just what we need. Absolutely amazing. You're definitely capable of doing the job. We're going to need you to locate the dimensional rift somewhere in Goldenwood Forest. Our sources say that the being cannot be tamed. Therefore, it must be destroyed. You'll be helping a lot of people with this melody. All we can do now is pray for your safe return. Okay. I'm gonna take a quick break here. I will be back in just a few. Sorry about that. Bathroom breaks, am I right? Okay. So, I do believe Spinel is the best Pokemon to go up front to deal with this. Okay, that is pretty. But it is also not shiny, so it is not needed. The entire area is basically overgrown. That is just sad. It 
it's only been a couple days! How did this happen? It's only been maybe a week in game. But Pokemon have grown strong. And if we cannot do this, it will be done after the gym battle. I would say that's if I still have time. You're going down, Gyarados! Oh god, I just realized. From the beginning of the game, we didn't bump into so much stuff. Does our character have, like, echolocation? <laughs> you don't need the Pokemon to walk if you have echolocation. Oh no, 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 you did not! So, we need to figure out where we can get Flash, or which badge does Flash. But, wow. I cannot believe that just happened. If we get wiped out, we will be coming back here after the gym badge. But it's a level 45 Pokemon. Trump card. Just trump card. David. Oh. Do something. But in order to open up this area once again, we need to take out this Gyarados. Oh, wow. I'm happy. But there's still a chance that we could lose here. We have three Pokemon left. Sherbert. We need your Aqua Jets. Oh my god. I said Jets and it managed to live with 20 HP. We win! Sherbert learning Whirlpool. Is that better than the water gun? No, it is not! Smell a grid of 35. We did it! Gyarados will finally be able to rest. In peace. That was a job well done, Melody. Because of you, Golden Forest is safe once again. Though, it'll take a while for everyone to get readjusted and come back. This place really will be a forest for a while then, huh? I suppose that's not totally a bad thing. But what do I know? I don't have anything to give you right now, but if we ever meet again, you should come speak with me. I'll have something really nice for you. Gotta hit the road now. 
I'm sure my rangers back at home are waiting for the next, their next plan. See you around, Melody. Well, that was a impressive battle. Lycan Rock. Oh, I try to run from it and it tries to roar. Only to be failed. That is funny. But we know now that we can catch it here. Don't know if we can evolve into it, but. We have officially opened up this area once again. It will be great for training for the next long while. For when we need the training. Level 30s. They say a, that Cubone may evolve differently if exposed to the Golden Leaf area. I wonder what's so special about this land that causes such a difference in evolution. Goldenwood Forest has never been the same after the Team Zen invasion. People have avoided this place ever since then. The forest is retaking the area. With destruction brings life an endless cycle. Well, we took care of that. Okay. Oh, we got a healing machine. That is great. Thunder Fang. So good. From the going down, but yes, that was a quick and easy thing. Another healing station. Thank you. Okay, let's see what we can find in the area out here. Ancient ruins in this area, can you believe it? Sorry, but until we're done investigating, I can't let you proceed. Don't go talk to her yet. Around and around and around we go. Because no one knows. It always pains me to walk in this lobby. All the painful memories of lost lives, lost hopes, and dreams. This place never fails to bring out my true feelings. After all, I was the one who started the ordinance of isolation. Tell me, why should we change our ways? Because it's wrong? We know it's wrong. But all anger shall never die. Ah, uh, if only that were true. I'm tired. My tears have run dry, and the anger that 
I once felt has subsided. I am a lady of theater and of the opera. I yearn for a cheering crowd and interaction of foreign. The problem I face is with my own people. If I tell them to start opening up again, my head will be in the arms of the gallows noose. I don't expect you to be of any help, so I wouldn't try to worry much about it. You took care of those ready outsiders in the Pokemon Center, correct? If that's the case, I must hold my end of the deal. I'll meet you inside my gym. Well, okay. Looks like we get to face her a lot earlier than I remembered. But that's a good thing. And Golden Leaf. Pokemon Center. Checkpoint. Now let's put on a lovely show. Our David is now a ghost type. He can no longer fly like he used to. His wings turned into his cape. Ah, oh, Melody. Good, Melody, you're here. I was just about to give Narcissa a piece of my mind. First of all, I don't appreciate this little attitude you and your people have against foreigners. As I was just saying... No, just listen a sec. What gives you the right to treat people this way? Is it because you have some sort of superiority complex? Is that it? Well, let me tell you something, Narcissa. It isn't appreciated by anyone. I'm aware of that. If you would just give me a moment to explain... Fine, go ahead and explain yourself. I don't agree with this town's attitude either. In fact, I yearn for change. Aren't you the leader of this place? Shouldn't that be an easy task? I'm afraid. I am in fact their leader, but they've been so blinded by hatred that they would never listen to me. One thing you must know about being a leader is that your decision is not always presented with a unanimous agreement. I am a leader, not a dictator. I guess you're right. Well, this can't go on. We have to think of something. What about an assembly? And what of our safety? If they wanted, they could riot. I could fend them off, sure, but attacking my own people? I don't have the heart. Melody and I could be there to protect you. We aren't weak. We could definitely hold the fort. That could work, hmm. I think I may have a better idea, though. But, as for now, I promised Melody that I would battle them. We can discuss everything else later. Oh, and what are you doing up there? Pardon me. But have we met before? Your face looks strikingly familiar. Shut up. Launcher. Silencer. Nurse. Double team and shut her up as well. You there, Melody, right? That little... That somehow walked into our office. The name's Gira. I'm a Zen executive. 
See, we didn't appreciate your little intrusion at Keratos Mountain. But now, burnt to a cinder. It's now burnt to a cinder. And in shambles. And you thought you'd just walk on your merry little way without any consequences? Yeah, that don't fly with us, homie. So, as revenge, I'll choke these two to death. And they'll be on your hands. Narcissa? Are you there? Crud. I promised Nastasia I'd be unseen. You got lucky. I'll be back for my revenge later. Haunter, return. Narcissa! This person is crazy! I'm sick of these outsiders thinking they can do whatever they please. Nick, lock them up. We'll have a meeting to figure out what to do with them later. Right. Let's go, you murdering maniac. Well then, that worked out in my favor. But, am I satisfied? Nope. I'll take them to the jail. You go to Wispy Tower and gather some rocks and debris. We're going to have fun with this one. This chick is nuts. Wait a minute. Minute. She said Wispy Tower. Jesus Christ, I'm an idiot. How could I forget about Wispy Tower? Have I been gone that long? Is that thing still in Wispy Tower? If so, it looks like I'll be getting my revenge sooner than I anticipated. Heh. <laughs> Heh, <laughs> I heard that. You aren't going to get away with this. We're going to keep you here until we decided what to do with you. Have you decided to do some extremely radical like this because of us? If that's the case, then you're incredibly idiotic. So just sit tight. You'll have a lot of time to think about what you've done. Hey, watch them until we're back. Don't you dare let them escape. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Shh. Hey, don't make any sudden movements. Whoa, what the? Give me the keys to the jail cell now. And why should I do that? What -da. Unless you want to be thrown halfway across the avium. I suggest you give me those keys right now, bub. Uh, Alright, just take them. Aw, thanks, dude. Love you lots. Keep watching him, Pangy. If he makes any sudden movements. Well, do what you want, I don't care. Photo! Hey, let's get you out of here, yeah? Hey, name's Mosley. Don't think I'm doing this because I love you. I just want to repay you for saving me earlier. I also thought you'd like to know something about that guy who got you in this mess. Yes, I was eavesdropping, but who wouldn't? Anyway, I heard him talking about Wispy Tower. He said there was something there that would be important. I bet you my mother's breakfast that whatever he wants isn't good. So I don't know what you're going to do after this, but I think you should head on over there. I'm going to, I'm not going to force you, but if you expose that guy, maybe it might clear your name. Just a thought though. Bangy, it's time to go. Oh, Up we go. Ha, what a beautiful friggin' day, right? So, I was thinking, maybe it's only right of me if I help you whoop some butt, right? So, maybe I might. Hey, who let you out of your cell? 
Devour her! <laughs> hmm. Is there a problem? That's right, keep walking. You don't have to worry about the people of this town bothering you. You go on ahead. Though, I have to make sure Pingro doesn't actually devour that girl. That's really bad on my resume, you feels. Well. I guess I was right. There might not be time for a gym battle, but anything night related I might do off screen, showing a recording what's different at night. But Team Zen is here. We don't appreciate what you've been doing. Ish cash. David. Be my David. Well, now we aren't immune to the um, Earth ground attacks. But we are stronger. Masquerade. I wish I could get this, but I have to take it out. My sag machine fails to work. And we will get items for all of this. Rock smash, cut, flash, fly, surf, everything. Speed up! Are you this? Why not stick around? No. They took down Hella. Yo, so, David? What the fuck? fuck? Landed. That is poison fire type. So, Sherbert. Put Jet. Go in. Healing machine. Thank you. But during my first playthrough of this game, I will say, shiny Dunsparce. Interesting. Oh, 
long has it been since I last visited this place? It's torn to shreds now. Huh? Did they let the baby out of its pen? Hmm. My pointless remarks don't even put a dent in you, hey. You've always got that dumb expression on your face. You creepy little psychopath. But if you want to stick your nose where it doesn't belong, then fine. Let's make this a little enjoyable. I'll be waiting at the bottom level of this laboratory. I still have some things to iron out, so I can't have you meddling. Charlene, can you hear me? I can hear you just fine, so stop shouting. Also, it's Sharon. Details, details. Just close the gates. I'll be down there in just a moment. Hm. What a big fat loser that guy is. Man, that guy can't go, can go on and on about stuff no one cares about. Like, please, save me. All the angst and teenage hostility, please. I hope I'm not like him when I'm a teenager. Anyway, let's look around and see what we can find around here. I'm sure there's some way to open these gates around here somewhere. Yes! <laughs> yeah, there's not much expression. Wait, it's a dragon type. Send out box fire. Here we go. Fairy wind! But now that we got a buddy, we get healed after battles. At least I hope we do. Are gonna win. A dragon air. Why, thank you for all that lovely HP. <laughs> I thought this would be funny with this. Face and everything, but it is hilarious having this avatar. Then spires. Yeah. Fight me! Beat up! Wow, that was six hits. Burn, baby, burn.
Let's give her a snarl. And shell us. First, go. I still love the colors of David. It is impressive. His zip striker. Dear. I think I'm gonna stick with David here. Spirit Shackle. Wow, that was just kind of a little overpowered what just happened there. Go to the left. Kadabra, meet Hella. Bap. Bap. I feel bad for her. No matter what she does, Ella is her nemesis. And there's a funny little diglet. Journal entry number three. I walked into our lab today, and Sirius said he had something to show me. My interest was piqued. I decided I had wanted to follow him. What I was saw was absolutely unbelievable. I saw the legendary Pokemon. Garatina. Sirius said that our influence wasn't enough. We could not change everyone with our radio tower. He said that we could only create a new world by destroying this one. He sounded like an absolute madman, but he talked as if he was completely sane. It was a hypnotic experience, if I'm honest. That's why I opted to continue helping him, regardless of what the result would be. Together, we're going to destroy and recreate the world in our image. Turn the panel on. There's something up there, but I don't have Surf. Surf isn't for a good long while. I don't know what I'm even doing as a team Zen Grunt. I just want to go home. Oof. So far, my team is a little strong.
And with Mosley backing me up. Oh my god, Hypno, Hypno, Hypno. Does she seriously have three Hypnos? Well, they don't last long with Hella. They don't even get a chance to hit her. Oh my god, she has a Titty Ursa. Shadow Titty Ursa? My first Shadow Pokemon, really? Well, it's got to go down sooner or later. But my first game with Shadow Pokemon was XD Gale of Darkness. Good game. Wish I knew where my copy was. Ooh, healing machine. Repetition and one step on the grass. One. Journal entry number one. Greetings. I work at the Wispy T Radio Tower. Together we created an experience that was unmatched by anyone. Soon, what was supposed to be an innocent job turned into something much more intense. We all thought that we had influence to change the world. We could do... What could we do to change the mind of others? This was what we were interested in. How powerful is our influence? The head of the radio tower, Sirius, believes that one with a voice can change the mind of anyone who listened. But there's a game to it. Certain key words that must be carefully crafted together. I was intrigued, so I joined his efforts in creating a new world with our influence. How deep will this go? Only time will tell. Okay. I want to go back there. Oh, journal. Looks like an old and battered journal. Read it. Journal entry number two. I'm sick and tired of series going around and testing things we didn't agree on. You said you wanted a perfect world. But you haven't exactly stated what perfect is to you. Anyway, I let him do what he wanted. Because he seemed to know what he was doing. At least tell me what the hell you're doing, Sirius. Are you sure no one knows about this? Okay, so we've cleared this area. It's more so getting the cash. But I'm trying to limit as many battles as I can. Do not... take up more time than is needed, but... I plan on at least getting through Team Zen. If there's enough time, maybe one run through with the gym. If I fail, I fail. Just that simple. But you must. You won't give in no matter what. Eh. Easy? Meet Hella. 
How about you snarl? Bam. Oh dear. It went kaboom. Mankey. Of course we'll switch from Mankey. Shadow Monkey! Of course. Yeah. They knew if they didn't do self-destruct there. They were not going to be able to do much damage. And they just boosted Foxfire's attack. Boosting Draining Kiss. Thank you for all the heals! You drill? Mm. I'll deal with it. Yes, I tried to make tanks. Unless you were talking about that wheezing, it was a tank. But I'm so glad I have Foxfire for here. Because Foxfire may save my butt soon. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. He's one hell of a hellhound. What is the meaning of this? You hear that? It sounded like the door's opening. You think the door's upstairs finally open for us? I'm going to go upstairs and check quick. Honestly, no, don't run away. I need your heels. One moment. Okay. Oh. Uh, ah, your Narcissa. And you're that child that likes to steal from residents from my town. Mosley, was it? Well, yeah, I mean, it's nothing personal, but how have you been? I know you were attacked recently and all. Indeed, I was. With that other girl, Aelita, was it? She's still resting at my house. But enough of that. What in the world is this place? What is it doing underneath Wispy Tower? Uh, I actually don't know. I think... It seems to be some sort of Team Zen base, I think. All I know is that this place is super old. And we have things growing down here. The fact that this place is old concerns me greatly. I'd love to ask about what you two have found down here, but I believe that we'll all get our answer by just continuing on. Down these stairs? Down those stairs. Oh man! The man is gonna 
kill me if she finds out what I've been doing. You like to turn back now, though. Oh, look who it is. Melody. Yes, I see that, Charlene. Disregarding the blatantly wrong name, we were ordered to stall for time a bit. It looks like Gira is having some issues. They closed the door on us the moment we walked past it. What kind of jerk tries to trick a child? The kind of jerk who was ordered to. I don't know, kid. Anyway, we should get this over with. Right, so, yeah, let's start. Eli and Sharon. This fortunate duo. Ella and Foxfire. Oh! Oh no. Training kiss, training kiss, please do something. That did more than I thought it would. But. Stupid Mosley for not healing me. Let's see. Let's use David. On the tangle. Do another draining kiss on the Lickitung. Foxfire. Had I known Foxfire was so low, I would have left and came back. Enough of this childish nonsense. Spin out, switch with Boxfire. And let's see what we can do about that like a tongue. Oh dear. Mella. Poison Fang. I love that I took that citrus berry. <laughs> Goodbye, Tangle. Let's see what all is getting taken care of. Oh, so wheat, so wheat. 
here. I forgot Miss Nikki has got that move recently. Come on. Poison it for me. Herbert. The hunch crow is going to die. Even if Foxfire goes down, we do have a chance here of winning. They're just slowly going out the window. If we do not lift the Shadow Ball. Well. Into the last healing station. Let's see. So, I guess. Let's grab this replacement of uh, Sherbert for now. But we should be able to get through this base. For sure. And down and around. Let's try this again! Alright, right, right. Flipped. While we have chance. So if we do beat up again on the Lickitung, it will be gone for sure. Don't want it accidentally paralyzing Foxfire. Get up and switch. Pretty nice combination. And 
do a switcheroo. For Spinel. Kind of thing or punch crew. Smella. Poison Fang. Smella can't do much, but Smella is Smella. Poison Touch. Ella can take out Tingla, and we can start whittling away at the Miss Magius. Luffy, go. Oh god, I had double beat up. Actual Swift here. Doesn't affect Miss Vegas, but it sure does affect Tom's Crow. Okay, so we're being not terribly powerful. We'll do snarl again and use a potion. Yes, I did get potions. Right now, Hella is taking out the Miss Magius. So far, so good. We still have David left. Still Crazy Leaf, actually. Got to take what I can get. Yeah, poor Hella. Definitely. But still, poor David overall. David is left to fend for himself. Oof.
Switch back in a rug and see if that does something. Oh, wait, Sophie did next to nothing. Up striker then. Luffy was quickly trained, so not much in terms of power. But Hella made sure no one ate berries. I think we gotta protect Hella at all costs. Get this one more try here. It is said that four Pokemon can take out six. Here we go. So fire thing. We're gonna double team. The Tangela for now. This is my third time doing this battle. Three tanks! Super Potion on Foxfire. And let's do Draining Kiss on Hunch Girl. I had to try to make sure that Foxfire lived that. But great drain there. Hello. Eat up the Lickitung. And Foxfire. You swift. Oh, well, that's the bird. Gone. There we go. Quiet, Miss Magius. Ella gonna take you out. Ella takes out all the ghosts. <laughs> oh, 
Fucking a rug. We're to level 30. One. All right, we lost. Whatever shall we do? Hmm, well, I guess we have no other choice but fail, right? I mean, clearly we have nothing else to do. We're definitely no use here. Yeah, but first we should open this door, right? You are? Yes, Sarah. It's Shannon! It's hard to remember such a simple name. Sharon! Alright, well, I'm over it now. Let's just open up this stupid door and beat it. My word, those two are interesting individuals. Interesting or not, they're jerks for locking us up in here. They were only following orders, as they said. There must be something admirable about that, even if it's only a little. Hmm, whatever. They said Gira was having issues, though, right? If they stopped us here, that must mean that he's nearby. That must be a wise assumption. Be ready, you two. We don't know what's down there. Prepare yourselves before following. You'll be fine, Narcy. Let's just go. Narcy? Okay, my Pokemon. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly run back and heal quick before going down there. Because paralyzed and having used so much power. Not a good thing. And stars. I don't see how using a Dunsparce would ever be useful. But some people like Dunsparce, I know that. Okay, so back in a rug. He's back on the squad. And we've trained up Smella enough for now. There's still a psychic type gem. I know that much. So, we got. Oh, the Pokemon healed. Let's go, 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 go! After a thing. Hmm. Notes. I see notes. Hmm. Looks like an old battered journal. Read it. Journal entry number four. I must write this quickly, as I may not have much time left, but the tower is currently on fire. We don't know what has happened, but it did. Sirius and I are trapped in the stasis room for Garatina, but we can't go upstairs or we'll die for sure. But there's something I have to say. Something I read. The rest of the page is completely unreadable. What the heck is that big chicken? Oh god, Wesley just called it a big chicken! This can't be. Is this... This is exactly what you think. The so-called protector of Golden Leaf Town, Garatina. It's been propped down here for decades. Did you know that, Narcissa? I don't know what to say. I'm speechless. How about a little story to lighten the mood? Once there was a prosperous, wealthy... An intelligent man named Sirius. Why do you know that name? This man was ambitious. He always knew what he wanted in life. He wanted a world where he could create everything in his own image. A so-called perfect world. A world without a god. One day, 
this man heard of the legendary Pokemon Garatina. He heard that Garatina was named the protector of Golden Leaf Town. He manipulated the leader of that village and married her to gain power. Stop it. He was unable to convince his wife to let him rebuild a radio tower. A place where he could continue his studies without ever being suspected of wrongdoing. And he succeeded. Hey, moron, she said to stop it. I don't understand. Why are you telling me all this? Anyway, as I said, he succeeded. He was able to capture Giratina and bring upon the start of a new age. Unfortunately, one day this tower mysteriously caught fire. The tower burned him and his research down with it trapping this Garatina in the abyss of this very dark shell of the past. My husband would never keep... How do you know this much? It doesn't matter anymore. The only... There's only one thing I want, and it's revenge. And I'm not going to leave until Melody has been successfully eradicated. Imagine being trapped in a tower for decades... Being trapped without anyone. Knowing you existed in the first place. In a way, I feel for this Garatina. I can feel its rage, its lust for destruction. And I'm going to give it what it wants. To stop this Gregory. Gregory? How dare you call me by that name, you weep. I haven't been called Gregory for a long time. I won't go back there, either. Garatina, lend me your power. We can benefit from each other. Together, we'll destroy every enemy that dares cross us. Garatina, destroy them. Then Executive Gira sends out Persian in Nerowak. Eat up and for good measure, draining kiss on the Persian. Welcome back! Mm, no, not Patron it. Yep. And let's do another potion. On Hella. Masquerade. I can't keep putting Hella at risk here. So, we are going to go to David and do a draining kiss on the Persian. I did my switch. That to deal with Persian's covet. Mm. 
Swifts. Might as well do Swift. I had a feeling that might happen. No more Persian. Go with Spinel. That's what I knew was coming. Raining kiss on Giratina. Please and thank you. We don't need no help in hand. We're recovering. Profession. Hmm. Oh my. We could live enough. Why not? It's going to do X again. The Cora and that deal with that little tiny disaster of a Clefairy. Bye-bye, Garatina! Oh, you mean the Clefairy? Tina was taking down quite a bit of my team. But I do feel bad now that he only has a couple fairy left and I took down the Trump. Trump card. But I will probably do one round on the gym leader. If I can't win, then that's if I get to the gym leader. Let's 
Slash and Trump card. And thank you for the power. Oh God. I'm gonna do a quick super potion on bug and a rug. Yes, give me. Yes, I agree. It is definitely the devil. Or something similar. Hello. Actually, we got smart on Helen. Let's do Swift. We win. That's impossible. There's no way it's possible for ordinary trainers to match the power of a legend. It's unfathomable! Gregory, I haven't seen you since that day. To see you again this way absolutely breaks my heart. You don't have to be this way. You can still be loved by everyone. I don't want your sympathy. I don't want anything from any of you. I just want to crush you all. That's all I want. Well... I'm not sorry to say that no one here will be crushed today, Gera, and that includes you as well, so please come with us, Giratina. Oh god, he's gonna try to off me. You always were such a stubborn, so stubborn. This pops? What? Does Clops take him away? I don't want to look at him anymore. Giratina, you're coming with me. It's her. This is far from over, Narcissa. I'll be back. And just like that, he's gone. Indeed, he is. What's that guy anyway? You seem to know him. Well, there were... Where were these questions when he was actually in the room? It's quite unlike you to not speak your mind whenever you can. Oh yeah, I guess I didn't really see an opportunity. It seemed like you two were having a moment, so I decided to suck up my pride for once. Hmm, I see. Well, that was not most admirable of you, Mosley. But I don't feel like being here any longer. Let's all go to my house. I heard you say some comment about missing dinner. Oh yeah, my man was supposed to cook tonight, but... How about I lower her burden tonight? Let's leave this place together. More, please! My word, I didn't expect such a small child to have... Such a large appetite. I'm a growing gal. I gotta have a good meal. I suppose you do. Well, 
there's plenty of leftovers, so dig in. Yay! Who knew Narcissa was such a great cook? Well, I do have a lot of experience. I occasionally cook for the entire town. Just a nice little gathering is all. Huh. Well, I guess that's cool and all. Hello, everyone. I'm up and ready to go. Ah, oh, I'm Lita. Finally awake, I see. Betcha. I can't let something so small bring me down. My father would have wanted it that way. And I'm sure he'd be proud. Good morning, Melody. Or whatever time of day it is. I'll let you down by losing so quickly to the- I let you down by losing so quickly to that creep. But I won't let that happen again. I want to be the person who always has your back, so please look after me too. Ah, companionship. Humanity's final hope for redemption. Hmm. This brings us to our final problem, doesn't it? Uh, oh yeah! We still have to figure out some way to change the people of this town. Is the assembly idea still on the table? An assembly is such a ludicrous idea. So ludicrous that it may just work. Great, then I should go ahead and set everything up then? No, that won't be necessary. Well, why not? I prefer to take a more professional approach. When I was younger, I used to be a famous actor. I lived in the theater, practically. I yearned for the coward crowds cheering. The elegant showtime. That dream has unfortunately died a long time ago. But I don't care. I would like to persuade everyone with my acting. You want to act? In a play or something? Yes, in fact, I've already planned out everything. Melody, you will play a vital role in this play. At the very end of the show, I will battle you in front of the entire town. I want you to battle and defeat me. I want you to show our little world what an entire galaxy is capable of. I see. Well, this is definitely a more creative way of doing things. But damn, I think it's a great idea. Well, we shouldn't waste our time, should we? I'd like to stick around and see the play for myself, but I have to get back home. The man will kill me if I don't get back soon. I'd rather be alive, you know? I completely understand. I did not expect you to stay in one place for too long anyway. That's against your nomadic spirit, isn't it? <laughs> Anyhow, please take this. Huh? What's this? Leftovers. I put some food in there for my man as well. Tell her it's a peace offering and that she should visit Golden Leaf Town soon. Narcy, you're the best. I'll visit you again soon, I promise. Well, as they say, the show must go on. Please come to Golden Lake Theater once you're ready. Okay, we're going to look around our house since we weren't able to come in earlier. And see if we can't find leftovers or something. Hmm. Well, I think this would be a good time to 
probably check and see about any event things quick before ending off as we don't want to get warped back into the tower but I do want to take a quick peek at a couple things before we forget I'm still shocked that the Marie isn't here. I'm still looking forward to it. Whoops. I will see about... Check the truck. What truck? There's no truck. Oh, that truck? Oh, it's just a warp thing. It'll let you warp. But I wanted to check the full basement, starting with this side, and see if we are now able to go to the right of Wispy Tower. Alright, nothing else there. There was one other section of this that was blocked off. We take the left path. I know. So we have cut, we have rock smash. I want to get past that because it looks like there's something past it, but I don't know how we do that. Okay, so. I will get us back to the Pokemon Center. I will see about getting the Esper to join. It might just be I need enough badges. But... That's fine. Let's see... And he's still there. So. Let's see. Getting back. To town then. If I notice anything different with the night in the town, I will show you guys. The, uh, short clip at the beginning of the next episode. Let's see. So... We have finished checking with everyone, but it does look like we are good here. I will check the houses one more time, see if anything has changed. That's Ren's house. Person who gets mad if we talk to her snubble. Huh. 
I thought there was a house where one could obtain a Marie. It is strange that it is not here. Narcissus house and the jail. So, yep, looks like that's it for now. I will see you guys next week. Peace out.